Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I hate doing these announcements at the beginning of every single video, but for the subscribers, for the OGs who've been subscribed for a long time, this message is for them. So if you're a new subscriber, go ahead and skip ahead of this if you don't want to hear it. The video chapters are at the bottom on the uh, play bar and also in the description, so you can go ahead and skip to when the content actually starts. But I do want these subscribers to hear this message. So it has been roughly a month since the last Mighty Monsters Worst Possible Team Season Playthrough episode was posted, and this video that you're about to watch is not a Monsters video, so you're probably wondering what happened to that series. The series is not over, obviously we are not done with the season, we are going to finish the season, but I am putting that series on hold and I'll be posting a few mini-series and one-off videos to fill the time until I can post again. The reason for that is because, simply put, I need a new camera and I should also probably get a new laptop. I've been trying to streamline my recording processes. The reason I take so long to upload is because my computer is pretty old. I actually do everything on my 2016 laptop, so I'm way overdue for a computer. There's not a lot of processing power here. My computer cannot handle streaming software. Like I literally could not stream from my computer even if I wanted to. So if I'm going to expand this channel and my other channels at all, I need to get, for one thing, a new camera. I used to record all of my videos, like my face cam, webcam stuff that was all on my iPhone. I have decided to officially retire the iPhone and, you know, step my recording game up. So that's being replaced. And then, as I said, I'm going to try and start using more streaming software to streamline my video production process, my video editing process, and that's going to require a new computer. I'm overdue for a new computer anyway. I've been planning on that for a while. And so the reason why I am putting the monster series on hold is because I don't want to change the format. Y'all are used to seeing my face in those videos. And so I could easily finish out the series, but the format would be changing quite a bit because y'all would not, you know, see my face, the face cam on the screen. And I'm someone who prefers and really values consistency in formatting. And I do think it would be very, very weird if someone were to watch the series all the way through and then all of a sudden abruptly, you know, two thirds of the way through the series, all of a sudden I disappear from the screen and the video format changes somewhat. So I'm going to turn a poll on in the cards up in the top right of your screen and also feel free to leave a comment. If you guys want me to finish out the series anyway, just, you know, get it over and done with see if the monsters can possibly win a game please do let me know but as of right now i am willing to put the series on hold because as i said i think consistency in formatting is very very important and i don't want to have to just change that and you know ruin the consistency of the series so again let me know if you want me to continue the series or if you're cool with me putting it on hold but that is what is going on right now and that's why i've not posted a monsters video in a while so it's a bit unfortunate but i think it has to be done for the sake of consistency on this channel and also like i said i need a new camera need a new laptop and that'll make everything on my channels much better so with that being said i appreciate y'all's patience with me with uploading these videos and my series in the meantime i hope you guys enjoy the new mini series and new videos I have planned and with that let's get into this video. Ladies and gentlemen welcome back to Backyard Baseball 2003. Got a fun little one-off video for y'all today. We have seen what the worst possible team in Backyard Baseball based on skill point ratings looks like. If y'all somehow don't know what I'm talking about can go through the series that I've currently got running on my channel with the worst possible Backyard Baseball 2003 lineup. The way I determined which players to have on that team was I looked at the master spreadsheet for this game. There is one for, I believe, Backyard Baseball 2003 as well as Backyard Baseball 2001 where it has all the stats for all the players and I sorted by skill point totals. So in this game, players have a possible 40 skill points, you know, 10 at batting, 10 running, 10 pitching, and 10 fielding. If a player were maxed out, they would be 40 out of 40 skill points, right? So I simply sorted by lowest to highest, and I picked the nine lowest rated players based on their total skill points. So for example, the two worst players in the game based on skill point ratings are Ivan King and Quentin Driver, who are both tied for the lowest amount of skill points with five out of a possible 40 skill points each. So that is how I determined the worst possible Backyard Baseball 2003 team. But what about the best possible? What if you flip that on its head? What if you picked the nine players with the highest skill point totals out of 40? That is what we're gonna look at today. And I have already done 
uh, a sort of series on my own with this team. I've already played through a season. When I first re-downloaded this game a couple of years ago, having having not played it for almost a decade prior, I basically used this team to speed run the whole game to, you know, unlock all the stadiums and stuff like that. So we're going to look through those stats really quickly that I had with that particular team. So here you can see all of the players on the roster. I will break down all of their individual ratings uh, as we jump into this game. But yeah, I'll just leave this up on the screen for a little bit so you can admire these stats uh, nobody on the team hit less than 10 home runs we had a total team batting average of 0.651 in the regular season 149 home runs hit by this team in total pitching wise we had leah wayne and jay green as our pitchers both had incredible eras and then in the playoffs 75 home runs we hit 0.653 just an all-around unstoppable team we'll look at the trophy case here in a bit obviously we had an immaculate season 21 and 0 this was uh, october of 2020 actually 536 runs for just 49 runs against most hits in a game 67 most home runs in a game 17 most runs in a game 63 we put up a 63 bomb on some poor team i wish you had the option to go back once you finish the season and look back through all of your games because i would love to see if this was an abnormal run total i don't remember if i was constantly putting up 60 plus runs on teams but uh yeah i put up a lot of runs with this team most home runs in a game marcellus marks with four home runs in a game jay green had nine strikeouts in one game most rbis in a game pablo sanchez with 10 so yeah this is a crazy lineup even on maximum difficulty with no swing spot or pitch locator this team can still easily rack up the runs and absolutely destroy teams and so y'all might be wondering why is this just going to be a one-off video why don't you do a series with this team believe me in theory it sounds like a really fun series just taking the best possible team and you know to use a term i already said speed running through the season but trust me after a few episodes it would get really really annoying it would be the same thing episode after episode just dinger after dinger we'd be putting up 40 50 60 runs per game some of y'all might like that idea i think a lot of y'all would actually get pretty bored with that and i certainly would get bored filming that as well the games would just drag on unnecessarily so i'm not going to film a full season with this team but i definitely wanted to film this one-off video just to show y'all what the opposite of my monsters team looks like that's the worst possible team in backyard baseball 2003 this is the best possible team so here is the new season file obviously the same lineup and we were about to jump into this game and i will introduce you all to all of the players individually so here is the lineup in left field and our leadoff batter we've got barry bonds one of the three pro players on this team eight at batting ten at running six at pitching and nine at fielding that is a total of 33 of a possible 40 skill points starting center fielder ken griffey jr my favorite player my favorite professional baseball player of all time nine at batting eight at running five at pitching 10 of 10 at fielding that is 32 out of 40 skill points then the fan favorite pablo sanchez he is boosted to 10 out of 10 at running today but his base stats are 10 at batting nine at running five at pitching and 10 at fielding that is good for 34 out of 40 skill points then nomar garcia para probably the player that you were least expecting to find on the list of nine best players in this game but he is easily one of the most well-rounded players in this game certainly among the pros eight at batting seven at running seven at pitching and ten at fielding 32 out of 40 skill points second base marcellus marks ten at batting 10 at running, 6 at pitching, 6 at fielding, 32 out of 40 skill points. Henry DeShane, 10 at batting, 10 at running, 8 at pitching, 7 at fielding, 35 out of 40 skill points. Julie Dunkel, and she and Henry DeShane are basically clones of each other. She is also 10 at batting, 10 at running, 8 at pitching, 7 at fielding, 35 out of 40 skill points. And last, but certainly not least with these last two players, if you are familiar with modding this game, you certainly know these two players by name. Leo Wayne and Jay Green, they are clones of each other. 10 of 10 at batting, 10 at running, 9 at pitching, 10 at fielding, 39 out of 40 skill points, as close to maxed out as you can get. However, as I'm sure you guys just saw, Leah Wayne is not having a good day today. She is boosted at 
pitching actually she is 10 of 10 at pitching today however she's got minus two running and a minus five batting so even though she'll be fine on defense and she'll definitely be manageable on offense we are not going to be able to see leo wayne at full power so in a way this video kind of doesn't feel like it's truly this team at its full power but believe me leo wayne only being five at ten at batting is the furthest from our worries we're going to jump right into this game and we are playing ironically the monsters although of course they're not the same monsters roster that we are familiar with on my channel they actually do have one of the players that is on my monsters team heidi thurman at second base and if you watch that series you'll know that heidi thurman can actually be a surprisingly good player she's only four of ten at fielding but she has a rocket of an arm and she even has some surprising power at the plate despite only having a one of ten batting rating she has nearly hit home runs for me a couple times Times over short fences believe it or not i know that seems crazy she actually has they've also got phil nevin their only pro player and amir khan and he's got a pretty nice boost today but overall this team definitely seems pretty weak obviously compared to us so we're gonna jump right into this game let's see if in our first game with this team on this channel we can beat our run total our high is 63 runs if we can beat 63 runs in this first game here that'll be impressive all right oakland athletics versus the green monsters at casa de pablo Let's get this done, baby. We've got our work cut out for us. Amir Khan is definitely a pretty solid pitcher, so we'll see how this goes. That's a foul ball for Barry Bonds to start off. Ooh, and that is out to center left field, but that is right to their center fielder. He drops it, though. Can we get to second? We will not. That's a pretty good throw in, but all right. Single off the error for Barry Bonds. Oh, that was almost outside the zone. That is a high fly ball, though. Maybe should not have gone for that. But we get the cheesy ground rule double. Let's go. All right. Getting a little bit lucky. Getting a little bit lucky. We got a man on second and a man on third. No outs. Oh, a grounder for Marcellus Marks. But he's going to have the speed. And Wow. What is Amir doing? He just ran right past that. Okay. All right. Bases loaded. No outs. Four, of course, Pablo Sanchez. Can we get a grand slam at Pablo's first at bat? Ooh, that is just, that is launched, but it's not going to have the distance. It's so easy to, you know, chase with this team. And, uh, all right, Barry Bonds is back. That's out number one. Oh, what in the world am I doing? Jeez. Man, like I said, so easy to chase with this team. You want to just smack everything out. That was a bad whiff by me. Amir Khan gets his first strike out of the game. All right, Ken Griffey Jr. Help us avoid embarrassment in this first inning. My gosh, bases loaded, but no runs, two outs. Aye, aye, aye. This has not gone well so far. Oh, my gosh. You got to be kidding me. Did I just put up a zero in my first inning with this team? Oh, nope. That's an error. <laughs> It should be a zero, but nope, we cheese our way. That's like, what, three errors in the first inning? We're up 1-0. Let's go, baby. Oh, my gosh. I'm just chasing all these bad balls. That's a that's foul in foul ter territory, and he catches up to that. Wow, we only put up one in the first inning. I've been talking all this trash about how good this team is, and we get only get one run that we don't even deserve. Dominic Lowe pops that up. Wow, Julie Dunkel has really bad vision, but... She's so fast that it does not matter. Seriously, she and Henry DeShane are so insanely fast. They basically got Pete Wheeler speed. Pamela Kirkos. Can Ken Griffey Jr. get to that? That was a rope out to center field. Second out, though. Phil Nevin. No way. He just tied it up. Are you kidding me? Wow. Monsters putting up a fight. That was the first pitch, too. My gosh, I'm looking horrible out here. I'm pretty rusty. I've not played this game in a while. Francesca Whitaker pops that up. Someone get to it. All right, Julie gets to it, but they have tied it up. That was arguably a much better first inning than ours was. Oh, that one is just blasted by Jay Green. Is that one out of here? It is. Goodbye. First homer of the game. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it going. I've been talking all this trash. Let's get it going, baby. What? Oh, that is cap. That is cap. Caps for sale? Caps for sale? That was not a strike. That was so high in the zone. Get real. Get real, um. Oh, grounder for Barry Bonds. But he's going to have the speed to get to first base. All right, he's safe. 
Ooh, that's a rocket line drive. Takes a turn in the dirt. Henry DeShane, we're going to send him to second. He's got too much speed, and he is going to be safe. Barry Bonds, do we test it? That's not a great throw. Barry Bonds going home. Going to send Henry back to third. That's going to be a run. Let's go, baby. 3-1. This team's got so much speed. We can do stuff like that. We can pull a little bit of trickery. Way different than the Monsters, man. That team is so slow. Seriously, if you want to see pain and agony in backyard baseball, go watch that series. Again, going to keep plugging that. Oh, that ball is destroyed. Marcellus Marks, get out of here. Get out of here, Amir. Goodbye. Goodbye. No doubter. Piss missile. Ooh, a little bit under that one. Dang. All right. Out number two. All right. Amir is gone already. Jack Joseph on the mound. Amir lasted one and two thirds innings before we bullied him out, which is good because Amir is a pretty solid pitcher. Leo Wayne with the liner. They are playing back so far. Even with her reduced speed, she will be safe. Oh my gosh, man, I am whiffing all over the place. This is what happens when you don't play the game for like three weeks. Good lord. All right, well, we picked up the pace a little bit, but still only five to one. I'm a bit disappointed in myself. Not a lot of fireworks so far. Amir Khan with a rope. That could be a hit. Actually, no, he's got st such bad stamina from pitching. Easy out. I just, realized I, should, I, I just realized I should probably have Jay Green on the mound <laughs> considering that Leah Wayne is already feeling slow today. I should make that substitution. I don't want her stamina getting any worse. Oh! Get that out! Is that gone? Oh, so close. But this could be an inside the Parker. Man, that was an, in an awkward place in the strike zone, but she's still got a lot of that one. And that is gonna be... B. Can we get home? Phil Nevin doesn't have that great of an arm. Can we get home? Yes, we do. Inside the park home run for Julie Dunkel. She is too fast, baby. Ooh, get that one out. Jay Green. Well, that one wasn't out, but nice hit right down the third baseline. Going to be a single. Well, that's actually a good throw. All right, they have a good catcher. Good, good to know. Oh, Nomar Garcia Parra. That is destroyed. Let's go nomar best shortstop in the game killed that one <laughs> barry bonds with the high fly ball this will probably be caught out number one henry to shane got under that one he's got that speed let's see if we can even get to second base on this let's go henry to shane too fast he's got that pete wheeler speed baby wheels for days that's his third double Marcellus Marks, this one could get to the wall, not quite, but that one is out there. Henry is going to come home easily, and this will be an RBI double. Let's go. First walk of the game. All right, Pablo is on. Runners at first and second. Leo Wayne is up. Oh, that was a bad one to swing at. What am I doing? Infield fly, two outs. Oh my gosh, Jack Joseph striking me out on three pitches. Another lackluster inning. Just four runs. I left two aboard. I am underperforming. Jack Joseph with the grounder. Jay Green is on that. Look how low his stamina is. Easy out. Heidi Thurman with the liner right to Leah Wayne. Out number two. Grounder for Dominique Lowe. Jay Green right on top of that. Out number three. Come on, guys. Let's put up some runs. All right, liner for, well, that's a dead ball grounder for Julie Dunkel, and we got the power-up pitch. Oh, man, this team, this team with power-ups, good Lord. Good luck to the Monsters, man. It's about to get ugly. Oh, crazy bump, we're definitely saving that for Henry DeShane. He's too fast. He'll get an inside-the-park home run. And Lorelai Kaye is in the game now. Third pitcher. Oh, my, what in the world am I doing? What in the world am I doing? I thought I could get another one there. Julie Dunkel, can we steal two bases? Oh my gosh, great throw. Holy cow. Oh, that's Heidi Thurman. Yeah, I should know about her arm. Jeez. Evidence for y'all right there, though. Heidi Thurman, man. Great arm. Don't give me another power-up pitch. We'll just hit him. Jay Green sending that one up the middle. We'll get another power-up hit. Julie Dunkel is coming home. Double digits for us. All right, we're starting to stack these power-ups. Dangerous territory for the monsters. 
Top fly for Nomar. Do they have anyone fast enough to get there? They do. Oh, that's a double play. No, that's not a double play. Whew. Man, imagine if I got a double play turn on me with this team. That would be one of the most embarrassing moments in this channel. Barry Bonds. That's out to center field. Not far enough. Man. We are not doing too hot, man. We are not. Oh, Henry DeShane killed that. Get that BS out of here. Let's go. Corkscrew pitch piss missile. Let's go. 12-1. Another power-up coming our way. We got to stack these power-ups and make the monsters pay, man. They've been keeping us down. Well, we've been keeping ourselves down. I'm not doing too well today. Aluminum power bat. And Marcellus Marks just needs a triple to complete the cycle. Dominique Lowe's on the mound. Fourth pitcher of the game for the monsters. Another power-up pitch. Did we send another one out? Oh, not quite. I was going to say, if we send another power-up pitch out, that would be epic. Only three runs there, but we got some power-ups. Also, one thing that is very interesting is that despite the fact that uh, Jay Green and Leah Wayne are 9 of 10 at pitching, they really do not have good stamina. Unlike, you know, Randy Johnson and Thor Herring on my Monsters team. They just can't pitch for very long, despite how good their ratings are. All right, can we turn a double play here? J to Nomar to Leah Wayne. Double play. Another power-up coming our way. Let's go. Francesca Whitaker. Henry DeShane is on that. Throw her out. Let's go. Oh, Leah Wayne. Oh, okay. She nearly failed that one, but we got it. Pablo, he's been walked. No hit so far, though. There he is. There's the goat. Let's go, baby. Let's go. You thought you were going to keep him down forever? Nuh uh. All right, since Leah Wayne has low stamina and she's got the batting decrease, we're going to use one of these power ups with her. Undergrounder, Leah Wayne. Hopefully, she'll get at least a double out of this. That is into center field. He'll have to chase that. She's pretty slow, but maybe we can even turn this into a triple. All right, throw in. Not the best throw in. She is at third. Can we send her home? Leo Wayne inside the park home run, even with the stat decrease. Let's go. Come on, let's start pouring it on, guys. All right, Griffey gets walked. Julie Dunkel, that is super high fly ball, but probably going to be an out. All right, out number one. Ken Griffey Jr. is getting back to first. Going to use an undergrounder with Jay Green here because his stamina got pretty low. Can we get both him and Griffey home? That one hits the wall. We're definitely gonna get we're definitely gonna get Griffey home for sure. Jay Green's heading to second. What a horrible throw from the center fielder. We're sending Griffey home. Gonna send Jay to third base. Amir's chasing after. Can we get another one? Another inside the park home run. Jay Green is coming home. Throwing it into Heidi. She's got the arm, but she will not be in time. Let's go. Another two runs. Omar Garcia Parra didn't get as much as that as I thought he would, but he will be safe, surprisingly. Single. Barry Bonds smacks that, and that will fall in past the left fielder. Let's go. Can we send him to second? Omar Garcia Parra, a little bit slower than I would expect. Horrible throw from the left fielder. We're going to send Nomar home. We're getting risky today. we got to put up as many runs as possible. We're going to send Barry Bonds home, too. Can we get another inside the park home run? Yes, we will. Let's go. Getting closer to 20. Oh, man. They're sending in Phil Nevin to pitch now. Oh, gosh. They're getting tired out for sure. Henry DeShane smacks that out to Amir. That's going to be... Let's get a double. Let's get a little cheeky double out of this. Actually, you know what? You know what? No, let's get a triple. Let's get a triple. In fact, let's test Heidi Thurman's arm. She throws it to third. We are going to get... Oh, wow. I tried it. I was very close to pulling off the inside the park home run there. Marcellus Marks. Oh, that's right to the first baseman. Can we beat her to the bag? Yes, we do. Pablo Sanchez. This will be over Amir's head. This could get us to 20. Let's go. Marcel is heading to third. Gonna send Pablo to 
Gonna send Pablo to third. Marcellus home. Oh yeah, this is gonna get us to 20 for sure. Inside the park, homer for Pablo. Easy money. Oof, Leo Wayne with the dud. Yikes, that'll be out number three most likely. Oh, Phil Nevin throws it into the dirt. We are still alive. Oh, Ken Griffey Jr. That is deep into center field. Will that be over his head? It will. Let's go. Ground rule double. A little cheeky ground rule double right there. Oh, come on. I don't want to leave two more stranded. Ugh, Julie Dunkel. Yikes. Oh, error. Horrible throw. We're going to score at least one off that error. Let's go, baby. Jay Green with the bouncer. Can we get a run out of this, though? Julie Dunkel gets his second easily. Ken Griffey Jr. is going home. 22 runs. Oh, had to go for that one. Could tell I was in the strike zone. All right. Only got one more inning left to use all these power-ups. But that was a much better inning. 10 runs. Can we get to 30, though? That's the important thing. Jeez, what is with this stamina recovery? Jay Green. See, this is why Thor Herring is low-key one of the best pitchers in this game. His stamina regeneration is insane. All right, Julie Dunkel. Look at that speed. Easy out. We've been locked down on defense aside from that one Phil Nevin homer. Amir Khan spanks that. Great hit. But he's so slow. Can we can we pull off this play? Oh my gosh, can we please pull off this play? Throw it. Let's go. We still pull that off. Hilarious. Speed is the key in this game, man. If your players ain't got speed, you ain't got a prayer of winning. Unless, you know, you've got all the slow but powerful hitters like, you know, poo holes and stuff. Oh, come on. I was going to say, if I gave up another homer to this team, good lord. All right, that is out number three. We got one inning left to unleash the power-ups. Gonna do a little underground with uh, Barry Bonds to get started. Let's see how far this one goes. Oh, that's an easy ground rule double. I was hoping it would stay inside because we could get so we, so we could get inside the park home run, but ground rule doubles, all right. Henry DeShane with the bouncer, and that's gonna stay fair, but it's on the line. Can we get to second? We will. Oh my gosh, man! It's like every time I hit a fly ball with this team, it is so disappointing. There's an error though. Bases are loaded, no outs. Dinger. There it is. There it is. Piss missile for Pablo Sanchez. 26 to 1. Let's go. All right, I think we're going to give Leah Wayne this aluminum power because she's got, you know, the batting reduction. She's the most likely to get out. Free home run for Leah Wayne. Let's go. 27 to 1. Still no outs. And we still got that. All right. So we'll get that in our back pocket for sure. And the crazy buns. And here's Pamela Kirkos. Is this like the sixth or seventh pitcher they've had? Crazy. That, that, oh my gosh. Griffey's been getting screwed on some of these calls. I hate when the game does that. It's like one pitch strikeout. It's so cheesy. Gosh. All right. Just like that, we're down to our last out. I don't like using power-ups when I don't need to, but I want to put up as many runs as possible. This is the best team challenge, and I feel like I have not done a good job today. So, going to try and run up the score, give myself a little bit more space. Oh, it's staying in the infield. That is so weak. Going to at least get a double out of this, though. So, not too bad. Nomar Garcia Parra. Down the third baseline. Nice hit. Still alive. There's the 30 bomb. Let's go. Had to do it to him. I'm not going to leave power-ups on deck, baby. Got to do it to him. 30 to 1. Well, surprisingly, we still have... The aluminum power. I rarely get this many aluminum powers, but that is a three-time use they gifted us. I'm not complaining. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Henry DeShane gets under that. This could end our offensive output. That's it. Wow. We only put up 30 on him. That's disappointing. With this team, that is so disappointing. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. This is a disappointing introduction of this team. Yeah, 30 runs ain't nothing, but... With this team, I know the ceiling is much higher. Jack Joseph with a little trickler in the dirt, out number one. Heidi Thurman with a grounder of her own, out number two. Dominique Lowe smacks that right to Marcellus, out number three. We win 30 
to one. What do you guys think of that game? I think I leaned way too much on power ups, and of course, I got a few lucky errors. I think I really did not do that great with this team. There were some awesome home runs and some good hits in general, but I know I can play much better with this lineup. So if y'all want me to put out another video where I try to beat my former high score of 63 runs, let me know in the comment section for sure. All right, so let's go through the stats. I really was not trying to pitch at all. Overall, this game did feel a bit weird because Leo Wayne was not at her full power. Not to say that that would have made a huge difference. She still got some good hits for sure. But pretty much the only weakness of this team actually is Leo Wayne and Jay Green's pitching. Even though they are both 9 of 10 at pitching, their stamina is really not good. If you watch my Tampa Bay Rays series or my current monster series, you know that the reason why Randy Johnson and Thor Herring, the pitchers in those two series respectively, are so good is because their stamina regeneration is incredible and they can go the distance. They can pitch entire games. Leah Wayne and Jay Green cannot do that. As far as batting goes, everybody got a home run except for Ken Griffey Jr. actually. Two for Barry Bonds. I think one was inside the park. Two for Barry Bonds. One for Henry DeShane. Marcellus Marks got one. Pablo Sanchez got three. Leah Wayne got two despite her reduction to hitting. Julie Dunkel got one. Jay Green got two and Nomar got one. It was a decent mix of inside the park home runs and uh, outside the park home runs. We had 13 home runs total, 30 runs, a total of 36 men on base. So overall, definitely a fun game, but I know for a fact that this team's ceiling is much, much higher. So again, if y'all want me to continue on a little bit and try and beat my former high score of 63 runs, definitely let me know in the comment section. I just wanted to film this fun little video as a little bit of a break from, you know, my backyard baseball series. Usually I only have one series going at a time. And so I wanted to do like a little break in the action a little fun one-off video so yeah let me know if you want another you know sort of episode or just video with this team where i just continue to try and beat my high score thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time